I'd read comic books much of my life, but I had no idea what went into creating them. Ryan's kind of a genius about figuring out what works visually and what works kind of textually. That was sort of the challenge, was adapting these ideas and turning them into something uh, more tangible or something with more of a, a, a direct narrative. I was chosen for the book because he, I served uh, as an example or I was connected, I should say more, I think that's better. I was connected to a group of folks who had taken on education to say, here's what we want for our community and here's a way that we're actually gonna do it. So I feel like you had to wrestle with me, like every word that I wanted to, you know, that you wanted to reduce to a picture, I mm -hmm. thought the word was important. Mm -hmm. And you had to show me that actually the picture could convey all those ideas mm -hmm. in a simple rendering, uh, not simple really, very complex rendering, but one that was, you know, um, a, a, a comic. The other thing you taught me was that what goes on between frame one and frame two is so important, and it's what you comic artists call the gutter, the, the, the period where you're looking at one picture and then another picture, and something happened in between. That's where all the imaginative space is. We're talking about alternative ways of teaching, and we're doing it in an alternative way. We're taking something you wouldn't necessarily expect as a teaching tool, and we're expressing new ideas towards teaching with it. Teaching in its essence is intellectual and ethical work, and it's the highest ethical work that one can aspire to.